will send it down to Robert Delfino and Gaston Green. And we're underway from Pittsburgh. Gaston Green from the one. And Green out past the 30, and Good Green on. is out in front, and nobody's going to catch him. Gaston Green, the former UCLA star, who has really not done it as a running back. He's been a big disappointment since he's come into the league out of the backfield. And this is how you return a kickoff. You can't hesitate. And there's a little crack. Good blocking up front. And he just turns on the speed. The former UCLA speedster that struggled to get into the Rams offense as a running back. But this time he finds the gap. He hits the accelerator. And all of a sudden, you saw the grin on John Robinson's face. And we'll look at it once again. Well, you have to credit the other 10 people on the field with Gaston Green because every one of them did their assignment to perfection. It's not often that you'll see a kickoff return where there's not a tackle being broken or a spin move or something like that. Just straight down the field for Gaston Green. You know, there's no feeling like it. Look at Jim Everett's reaction on the sidelines. You saw John Robinson a moment ago, but for a running back, there's no feeling like that to pop through an opening on a kickoff. You get the block. You get nothing quite like being ahead seven to nothing before you've even run an offensive play. The starting tight end is Merrill Hodge exploits a hole through the middle and takes it out to the 36-yard line. And Brester throws, and it's Lip who makes the catch at the 38-yard line. And the crowd salutes him with Louie, Louie. Lips in motion. Brister with time, and Brester with the open man as Lips gets free at the 29-yard line. And with the strong arm, zips it in. Now between the two zones, two men playing the zone, one deep, one underneath, Brister fires it in. Michael Stewart runs him out of bounds at the 29, but the line did its job, buying Brister some time. Play clock is down to one as Brister gets it off. Underneath to the safety valve, that's Merrill Hodge to the 21-yard line for a gain of eight. And Brister throws, and the catch is made by Derrick Hill, who brings in the play with his own number on it. Jerry Gray makes the tackle as first and goal. And Brister throws to Hodge. Touchdown. Oh, good work by Brister. He changed that play that was sent in. He changed it off with the automatic. 9.55 remaining in the opening quarter in Pittsburgh. 7-7. Everybody into the pattern. And the pass is caught by McGee, who somehow holds on. And he should have a first down. Thomas Everett with the pop. In the game as Ellard makes the catch, and Ellard is close to a first down out to the 44-yard line. On second and eight, off the fake to Gary. That buys a lot of time for Everett, and the catch is made by Ellard. David Johnson, the cornerback, gets credit for the tackle at the 38-yard line. First and ten. A little toss to Cleveland. Gary, who cuts it back inside, and... Uh, he runs right through Everett as Everett gets credit for the tackle and then David Johnson is there to finish him off. Holding, offense, number 67, 10-yard penalty, repeat the down, first down. Who has not gone through a full training camp and Cleveland Gary and the Rams are getting from him what they thought when they drafted him. First and 20 and the catch is made by Henry Ellard. Third and three, off the fake, Everett under pressure, gets hit as he throws. And it is incomplete. Flipper Anderson reaching up with one hand. In the middle of three Pittsburgh defenders. He hold a hand with the hold. And the kick is wide. Robinson looking, I think, for a flag, but we see none. 4.54 to go. The game they mm -hmm. played down there, he brought it to the ramp. Cleveland Gary, though, he is going to uh, change that ratio because, uh, as we have pointed out in their prior drives, he is just now emerging, and John Robinson figures to give him the ball a lot more. Third and one. L.A. from the 37-yard line. And on third and one, a flag goes down. It is intercepted at the 50-yard line. David Johnson runs it back. 
Johnson to the 15-yard line, but let's see about the flag, which was thrown at the line of scrimmage. The man on the end of the line can reset. No foul. First down. Okay, so that's exactly what happened. There was motion by the tight end, but he had a chance to set himself. Look right here at the top. Now we're going to see him start. He's going to miss the snap count. Dead play, and it'll still be the Rams' ball. Steelers first and 10 from the 17, and Brester goes right up top. Brester for Green! That's down. Never have 280 pounds moved so quickly. Here's to the inside, and then up the sideline. He gave it, <laughs> he gave it an out fake, turned it up, and, and Vince, he, Vince Newsom goes, what am I supposed to do with this? History to catch five touchdown passes in his first three games. A little, little move to the outside, the little fake, the little hitch. Turns it upfield, wide open, and surprise. Pump fake, and he's going deep for Willie Anderson, the big play receiver, and oh, he yeah. gets hit. Thomas Everett hits him, flags all over the joint, and the Rams will be far downfield. 43-yard infraction, first down from the 23. Everett, and the wide open man is Ellers, and he seeks the first down and comes very close to picking it up. In the eye, back of Everett with a double tight end set, Carter and Damone Johnson. And it's a little toss, like they used to run at SC for Robinson, for Gary, but he goes nowhere. Brian Hinkle comes in to break the play up. And it is just good. Just inside the upright. So 45 seconds into the second quarter. Lansford, which is short, taken at the 12 by Rod Woodson. And there he goes. Woodson out past the 40, chased by Terrell and Newman. And all the way down to the Rams 39-yard line. Back by Woodson. Steelers have it at the 39 of the Rams. And Merrill High. Picks up five as he bursts through the middle behind a block by John Jackson. Here's Hodge. And Hodge seeking that first down and coming close as he's run down by Mike Wilcher. Third and one, and it's Merrill Hodge who picks up what appears to be the first down. And it's confirmed by Dick Hantak. It'll be first and ten at the 28-yard line. The field goal back just a little bit. Lovey, well aware of that, knows it will be man-for-man coverage. Shotgun, third and seven at the 25. That's Lips coming in motion. And Brester going deep and off the hands of Lewis Lips, who had beaten the coverage. 42-yard attempt for Gary Anderson, one of the most accurate kickers in the history of the league. And that one is good complete pass that's a ball though that I'll bet you half the time Louis Lips brings down he's caught one like that in the past at Brister's oh if I had just had it just a little shorter and they considered experience not old age second and ten and running behind that line is Gary he oh. fumbles the ball the Steelers have it at the 33 David Little comes up with it and Pittsburgh has it on the turnover 31 remaining in the half from the 27 yard line Brister on an out pattern run by Hill, who makes the catch at the 19-yard line. Merrill Hodge, big hole, first down to the 13-yard line, behind the block by John Jackson. <laughs> Second and 20 from the 22, 154 to go in the half. Lips in motion. The Rams rush only three. I'm not sure they're rushing. Yep. We say that loosely. And Brister then just throws it away. Oh, and there's a flag. We may have a late hit. The ball is... We have intentional grounding on the quarterback. Loss of down. Third down. Mm. There is a tough call against the Steelers. And it makes it third and 31. This time the pressure is put on. Brister off-balance throws, and the catch is made at the 31. That's a minimal gain. The reception by Merrill Hodge, and now you're looking at about a 49-yard field goal attempt. 49-yard attempt from the 39-yard line, and there is no kick here. The whistle had blown. 
before the snap. We have a false start on the offense prior to the snap. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. I'm trying to take a step in that direction. Everett throws. Flipper Anderson makes the catch. He's covered by Woodson, and that's a first down up at the 32. From the 32-yard line, Everett dumps it for McGee. McGee to the 49-yard line and out of bounds with 30 seconds. Maybe he's setting Woodson up for another one of those. From the 49-yard line, the catch is made by Pete Holohan, and he is out of bounds at the 45 with 23 seconds remaining. From the 45 on second down, Everett throws, and the catch is made by Cox, and he takes it to the 25-yard line. Woodruff makes the tackle, and the Rams have to take a timeout. The two-yard attempt, Pete Holohan puts it down, and Lansford's kick Ooh. is no good. And Robinson sees a little with three seconds remaining in the half. Rams get no pressure on Brister, but the secondary does its job, and he has to settle for underneath to Richard Bell, the rookie out of Nebraska who scored the Steelers' only touchdown last week against the 49ers. Produced a much higher percentage field goal attempt. 42-yard attempt that is nearly blocked, but he gets it away, and the kick is good. And there is a marker down. The scoreboard. Defense, number 42, penalty is declined. Five-yard penalty, first down. Hodge, he escapes the first man into the backfield. Kevin Green. They're aware of the throw of the ball, but the Rams have the extra coverage. Third and six, and they run an inside play to Merrill Hodge as he keeps it on the ground down to the 14-yard line. Crowd doesn't like the call, and now Anderson will try to put those three points back on the board. 31-yard attempt. And so Anderson winds up with those three that were taken down. Maybe he didn't penalty. breathe a sigh of relief on that one. He got his three back. And we have 9.50 remaining in the third quarter. Line. Here's Hodge, and he can't go anywhere. That play smelled perfectly by Mike Wilcher. And English, as was the case against Atlanta last week, can't get the kick away. Rams obviously suspected something they were in tight and i think robert del pino was the guy who might have been confused on that he wasn't sure whether to take the guy on his inside shoulder or his outside shoulder second and goal from the four williams to the outside and takes it down to the one yard line And a very familiar sound. The Steelers making noise when their defense is on the field. On first down from the 18-yard line, the catch is made on the near side by Henry Ellard. So, great family. First down from the 35-yard line, and again, it is Ellard making the catch. And 10. Here's Gary. Reversing direction. Barry loses the football again can you believe this he was hit by little and it's flipper anderson who winds up with the football the receiver who was running a downfield to block and then he had to come back play safety third and 24 tip picked off at the 38 yard line intercepted by thomas everett and a flag is down back at the 27, however. The excellent offensive team of the Rams. Here's Warren Williams moving to the outside. And then cuts it back and takes it up to the 46-yard line. Oh, Frank Stans makes the tackle. White Stone breaks the tackle. No oh, catch him. Good night. He's out of bounds at the 9. Out of bounds. No touchdown. Brister again. Strong arms it out to the flat. Missed tackle there. 
by Bobby Humphrey. And he really had no reason to step out of bounds. He just catches it right there. Yeah, he's a couple yards in front of Michael Stewart. Stewart is not going to catch him nor force him out of bounds or by Dwight Stone. From the 14-yard line, Merrill Hodge takes it down to the 8-yard line. Rams in defensive disarray. Extra point. We're seven seconds into the fourth quarter, and the Steelers are blowing the Rams away. Oh, boy. I got it. Yeah. Del Pino runs it back from the two. Oh! And another pop out of the 22, and they're Whoa. dancing on the Steelers. Tyrone Stowe. And Robert Del Pino. Somebody's still down on the ground. Del Pino, we have shown you earlier tonight the hitting that takes place on the special teams. Del Pino taking that tremendous shot from Tyrone Stowe for saying something to one of the officials. Mm -hmm. And from the 37-yard line, Everett starts this drive by hitting McGee over the middle. And out to the 50-yard line, he goes, wrestled down by Carnell Lake. First down, Rams at midfield. From the 49-yard line, and it's McGee again. For close to 10 on the Rams, maybe a week or two. Everett on second and short going deep for Aaron Cox yeah. and a flag is thrown as David Johnson was all over him. Third and goal from the six. Warner can only get to the five. It's going to be fourth and goal. And with 12 and a half minutes to go and you're down by 24. Well, sooner or later, you're going to need a field goal. Fourth and goal from the five as the crowd rises as one and a wobbly duck is thrown into the end zone and incomplete intended for Pete Holahan. First and ten Pittsburgh now from the five-yard line and Warren Williams out past the 20. Williams gets tripped up at the 45-yard line by Frank Stams, the linebacker. It's getting the scalded dog right to the hill, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Or a scalded ram back to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Boy, Stan just... Oh, that's a great effort. <laughs> that thing scares me. The second and <laughs> Here's Williams again. After that 41-yard run, a flag goes down. He picks up 14 here to the Ram 40. He's tackled by Newsom, but it will come back. Looks like it's being carried on by this group. Second and 20. And Brister gets decked back at the 30-yard line. Alvin Wright. Leaders on that Ram team to hold it together. And Everett gets sacked. And this is turning into a, just the ultimate nightmare for the Rams. Your kick. Taken by Woodson at the 20. And out he comes to the 30-yard line. There's a marker down. For a 6-10 1989 legend, really. Brister's going to air it out with a big lead and all. And he can't give the crowd that extra thrill as Bobby Humphrey, the former Jet, makes the interception in the end zone for <laughs> the touchback and the Rams take over at the 20. Woodson. Oh, is he fun? Ooh. To the Ram 45 yard. Broke that one. Put the ball on the ground from the 45-yard line. And this is Barry Foster. He of the botched uh, kickoff return last week. Flashy to any degree. They just get it done. Here's Foster again. And Foster breaking oh, tackles inside the 20, the 10, to the 5-yard line. Run down by Vince Newsom. Robert Newhouse with the yeah. Cowboys. Number 44. Foster again. Well, after that run last week, seems like a year ago for Barry Foster. From the two. Take to Williams, and all alone, Merrill Hodge has scored three touchdowns tonight. Rams, I mean, offensively, you know that they're, they're going to eventually produce and have produced in the past, but I think their defensive deficiencies are worse than anybody ever suspected here. Well, congratulations to Chuck Knoll. He's got his club to 500, and John Robinson, a lot of work to do. They're going to be a lot better than that, better than 500. Gentlemen, ball club. we shall re reconvene in uh, some warmer surroundings in the Hoosier Dome. Yep. The Giants and the Colts.